least two people inside that vehicle. Uh, again, oh, there we go, guys. It's there back. We, we have it. Boom. Thank you, Jesus. I can't and hear. That's the it. damn problem yeah. out here. We are live, guys. This is Southern California, the 210 Freeway. That is the truck that we're looking at, that white pickup truck. And again, to reiterate how this all started, uh, a I guess it started with this um, suspect failing okay, to yield. Okay, so where are the uh, there CHPs were also if they're chasing that him? There was, um, th that the vehicle itself was suspicious. Uh, police approached the suspect. They allegedly jumped in the vehicle and took off. We've heard that there might be two people in the car. It's um, there. They are tented windows, so we're having a hard time seeing the suspects. But allegedly, there are two individuals in this vehicle. This police chase has been going on for about 40 minutes now. Yep, it started at 1.12 p.m., exactly 40 minutes, Kinsey. So they have now zoomed in. It's really interesting, though, just how big of a spectacle this can become when someone fails to heal those hear. stop that's... signs, for example. Because they're obviously not stopping for other just... They might have an outstanding warrant. Who knows? Maybe they're no, just late that won't do me any good. Maybe they're just late for work, and if they turn around to go pick up their cell phone, they'll get yelled at. <laughs> Yeah, I can't look up for streets if I'm trying to find him. Sorry. All right, guys, let's go back to that chase coverage. We are looking now for the white pickup truck. There Spotted. it is. And it does, have, does it have a uh, red gas can in the back? What is that? Maybe it's oh, a interesting. I did not notice the red gas can in the back. Kinsey, we're back on screen with the truck, by the way. Um, jo They never found Jody Arias' gas cans. <laughs> You're thinking that maybe those are Jody Arias'. Maybe that's why he's running. Because he was linked to the Arias. Okay, crime. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, guys. Hey, we're now zooming in on this truck. I'm going to go ahead and move us out of the way. Like Only half of our system worked. It'd be a miracle. Whoop. Uh, oh. And he can always, he's always like, spike strips. Interesting. He's like, What's don't it? repeat the spike strips. And I always use code. Okay, where did he get off? All right, guys. The vehicle has exited at... Campus, Campus Avenue. Avenue. So I'm wondering if that's okay, he's getting back on. Riverside. He's getting back on. Yep, he's just coming up the on ramp. Yeah, stay out of their bad. way. All right. Campus Avenue. So that means he's still heading 210 and on again. the 210 westbound. So that's, I mean, sorry, I'm eastbound. I don't know why other stations were reporting that it was westbound. That's why we're number one, honestly. Okay, four Clearly. <laughs> because now it's heading towards the the 15 freeway. So is, is he getting back on the freeway? No, he's already back on the freeway. We oh. can go ahead and look at him. He's on the freeway. He is... No. Is that the... Yeah, see, see this is interesting because we, we usually don't see the cops so close to the suspect right and they and and he has dramatically increased in speed since this started this this chaser initially began and they didn't see that but he was just kind of chugging along at the very beginning right well i think he's allowed to be in the carpool lane because we do suspect that there are two suspects in right <laughs> He might not yield, but he does abide by carpool and <laughs> rolls. <laughs> oh, Kinsey, that's hilarious. Well, you know what? Also, in that part of the freeway, though, I don't know if it's one of those carpool lanes where it's only carpool lane from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., because it is 155. Yeah, Keith, we're at 3, 3, Whether solo or with a partner in crime, he might be able to use that lane right now. Oh, nope, he just broke double yellow lines. And you know what? Sami doesn't care about the carpool rules. I do know that he just broke double yellow lines, though, and I will say from personal experience, if you cross out of those double yellow lines in Southern California, at least on the 405 in Orange County, if you cross it like that, $450 ticket, then you have to see a judge personal and you have experience. to go to traffic school. Personal experience. It is a personal story. I'm telling you guys the truth. I didn't even cross the double yellow lines, and the cop told me that I did. And I was like, I didn't. She said I did. Female Ooh, cop. That's, 
well, right at not the making any the, further uh, comments on that. Let's just watch this individual uh, escape uh, from the law. Is, uh, again, as you said, <laughs> westbound, and uh, looks like we're just on the eastern, uh, I'm sorry, on the western edge of Ontario, um, heading toward, uh, back toward the Monrovia area where this all started. We need to switch us to the other side. He was uh, stopped uh, or, or, or was being pursued because of erratic driving. They think that possibly he's a burglary suspect. Uh, CHP is in tow here behind him, and uh, traffic's fairly light in the westbound Don't direction right him. now, so uh, he's got an open road ahead of, in front of him here. All uh, right, guys, Kinsey and I are back. I am reading some of your comments that are coming in on well, Twitter. Thank well, you guys for joining us, by the way. I have to say, though, I, uh, I'm going to lower this. I, he's saying burglary suspect. We've heard three different stories, and we need to clarify that we don't know which one's the truth, but we've heard three different stories. We've heard that this individual failed to yield. Mm -hmm. We've heard that, that, that a suspicious vehicle was reported that cops approached the suspect and he jumped in the car and took off and that's what instigated the chase and now another outlet is, is stating that it's a possible burglary suspect right so that's we the fox simply, 11 chopper yeah guys. we simply don't know and we this is what he happens. could be all three he <laughs> this, could be all three he this, could have stolen something and then failed to yield and then he could have perhaps, been in a suspicious car that he perhaps. stole what if he stole the vehicle and then I know. failed to yield my point is that in breaking news the story will constantly change and we're not intentionally saying anything that's that's wrong we're trying to give you what we're hearing and so that is what we're hearing all three of those options but what we do know is this chase started uh, almost an hour ago it, we have been on it for about 30 minutes you have only been able to see it for about 15 10 five five, five. <laughs> and um and at the beginning of the chase, it was not, it did not feel like a high speed chase. Other cars around him were going much faster. And now he is hauling it. He is hauling it and he's going very fast. The question is, at what point does he give up? At what point does he run out of gas? The thing about this vehicle, as you can see, is exiting. Um, he's going off the off ramp once again. He keeps going on and off the freeway. As if that's going to help. Does he not realize that there's a whole bunch of choppers and a whole bunch of people sitting on their phones watching? Fontana. Fontana, California. Okay, so this is the Inland Empire. We already knew that he was in the Inland Empire area, considering that he'd gone through Glendora, Monrovia, Rancho Cucamonga. Let me say Rancho Cucamonga. Approaching Upland. So he's in Fontana. Fontana is near uh, the San Bernardino Riverside area. The thing about Fontana, I always associate Fontana with heavy crime, because I remember working for the NBC affiliate in Los Angeles. And in my first couple months, I learned about, I think like five people were killed in a home in Fontana or something. And so I've always associated this part of Southern California with um, high crime rates. Well, that's rude. I'm just saying. <laughs> just letting you guys know my fun Fontana fact. I don't know if it's fun, but it's a fact. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I mean, what, what we typically see when it's Los Angeles is there is a severe concern when they take to the streets because they end up in a cul-de-sac. So right. I, I do think... I mean, what is the objective is always what we're asking ourselves when we're watching this thing. But, uh, I, you know, the, sa the safest bet is to stay on the freeway if you're really trying to stretch this thing out. The second you get onto some of those streets, you end up in a cul-de-sac, you end up on your feet. And what a nightmare that is because it's you're minutes away from getting caught. And again, we're hearing two suspects in this vehicle. So again, we're in the Fontana area. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a map for you guys later. So in case we lose the feed, I'll go ahead and have that map ready for you. Fontana, again, is uh, right before you approach San Bernardino if you're traveling eastbound from downtown Los Angeles. For those of you who are from here in Phoenix and you've done that drive from Los Angeles to Phoenix, you've passed Fontana. Fontana is basically in between Interstate 10 and Interstate 210. We know that this individual has been fleeing on Interstate 210 for almost an hour now. Again, we're looking at that pickup truck right there. Samia, you kept tweeting about the chase without po posting a link. You know what? I would just hope that they... Amateur <laughs> hour. <laughs> All right. I want to go ahead and read some comments. Tassara saying, in Athens, Greece, up all night waiting for New York results. How to fight boredom? Watch Samia and Kinsey cover live car chase. Thank you, Tassaras, for your 
tweet. We appreciate it. I see Canadian Minion enjoying our police chase commentary as well. Arturo asking... Do they ever get away? No! They never They get never away. get away. Actually, I will say there was one time I covered a police chase. This was last year with Southern California because that's where all the police chases typically happen. And uh, the driver was traveling northbound on Interstate 15 from the San Diego area, approaching Barstow like, look, he's, he's in the really Las Vegas area. Butt right now. The guy had driven so far that it went out of the reach of that local news market, and the chopper had well, to stay away. Last week, the cops just called off the chase, and the guys got out of the car, sat on the hood, and ch to like high fived and took selfies for 20 minutes before the cops pulled up. It's like they were waiting to get caught. But they're fa internet famous, at least. I'm wondering if they just re watch themselves on YouTube. I, do you think they're out of jail yet? I don't know. It depends how low their uh, bail was set. I don't think that that bail would be set very low. But interest again, we I, I know we've said this already, but it is always interesting. Oh, here we go with Brian. It's always interesting to st when the cops actually are close to the suspects because we don't see that very often. A lot of times, especially in Phoenix, it's just um, primarily they're covering it via air. So Ryan is saying this all started on the 210 near a uh, southbound 57. The cops tried to pull over the truck for a suspicious vehicle call, and that's when it led to a chase. So 57 and 210, that intersection is right around the area of Pomona, for those of you guys who How are familiar with it. How far is that from it. Rancho Cucamonga? It's, fair, it's 20 minutes or so. I just to say Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> we have a map. We are patiently waiting for a TMZ truck sighting. It's LA, anything's possible. I like how the cops like, nope. Let's move us out of the way. Whoop. There we go. I'm glad we finally got this feed in. For a while we were just giving you guys play-by-play -play coverage without actually showing you the truck on the screen. So thank you guys so much for joining thank us. Thank you for your patience. And feel free to tweet us if you have any questions or comments. We are reading the tweets as they come in. Patience is a virtue. Morgan Price, watching the police chase move on us. YouTube from the UK. I'm so entertained. Morgan, move nice us. to meet you. Oh, move us. Sorry. There we go. So, psyched so him he, out. He, he was like, just kidding, I'm not exiting. What if he needs to go to the bathroom? What if he gets hungry? Do you think he's going to take it to the drive-thru? Have you ever seen a police chase go through like a drive-thru of a McDonald's? Because that would be really interesting. I'm not talking because to you. <laughs> I'm just saying. You pull into the drive-thru, someone else pulls behind you before the cops pulled you behind you. They would pull you. up in front of you and they would take they your McRib. They can't though, because they when would you're take in your the lane, you can't cut through the lane. And they'd take you into jail. You think the suspect is the McRib kind? I love McRibs, they're delicious. All right. Yeah, I just am surprised that, that I'm well. Not a I'm surprised. Type. <laughs> I'm surprised that there are there is not a larger presence, as far as police are concerned. Right. Um, now this now the suspect is uh, driving way more erratically than they were before. My question is, if you are pursuing a vehicle, like whenever I'm on the freeway and I see a cop pursuing a vehicle, they automatically turn on the lights and the sirens. Why is there no, why are there no lights? Why is there no lights? No, no, sirens? they were before. And they I don't were. know if we okay. can't, they definitely were before. But, and I don't know if we can't see it because this is a larger, larger vehicle and maybe they're in the front. Uh, see, I do think that they are. There are sirens? Yeah. But the, the, there was a smaller cop car pursuing the, the suspect um, much earlier on. And I definitely saw the lights and sirens. All right. So we're getting a note from Brian, our web producer, saying that this is, the 10 eastbound, two people in the truck on speeds over 100 miles per hour coming into the Pomona area. I guess they're back on the 57 southbound. Again, this is information coming from Brian. Yeah, we don't trust him. I don't actually, I can't personally verify this. I can't see the freeway signs right now. If I would see just one street sign, I'll be able to feel, uh, I'll feel more comfortable telling you where the vehicle is. See, Wait, White Avenue. Oh, yep, that town, that's actually approaching Pomona. So you know what? Brian is correct. All of those streets are very. Um, Look at that. Those that are all motorcycle. Exited, that's exits what I hate about. The I hate about the um, driving in Los Angeles. I'm always I'm always concerned that I'm going to hurt somebody on a motorcycle. And in, high, in in incidents like this, you have got to be so careful if you're on a motorcycle. I mean, typically, when we see police chases, even in Los Angeles, people pull to the side and try to get out of the way. Nobody's doing that during this one. 
so now he is traveling westbound. He passed, I, there's, he's in the area of Town Avenue, Gary Avenue, White Avenue, right in the Pomona area of Southern California. I want to go ahead and read some comments. Ness saying, PD seems a little more aggressive since the rainy day Mustang joyride compared to this chase. Is it the same though? Because this is the uh, California Highway Patrol. Oh, is that why we saw the switch out of the cars? Because it's like I said earlier, there was a smaller police vehicle. Oh, now it's an SUV. So I'm wondering if that's, they just transitioned and this is my... Oh, man, this, did oh, you see how close that yeah. was? Car he just uh, went from the Highway left Patrol. lane to the right lane and almost I crashed into that vehicle. Uh, looks like, what street is that? Yikes, yikes. All right, guys, we are back with you here on News Now. More continuous coverage of this police chase. This is, again, uh, the Pomona area, uh, there was a point where the vehicle was in the Fontana area. It looks like now it's traveling westbound. It was initially traveling eastbound, now heading west, going very fast. We've heard multiple reports that this started with a report of a suspicious vehicle. Again, another station said burglary, um, failure to yield. I'm going to go with suspicious vehicle since we've heard multiple people say that. Right, right. I want to read a comment from one of our viewers, Troy, saying, I never understood it. Running just makes it worse. You know the cops are going to get you. Give up. You know what, Troy? Maybe they do it for the attention. I'm not really sure. Is that the same Troy to to that told us to move the box? No. Oh. <laughs> we, we should move the box, then. Philip told Whoa. us to remove the box. Boom. Now he's exited Central Avenue. Central Avenue exit. Let me go ahead and look at my map here. Are they going to just jump? Oh, wow, they're taking to the streets. This is again when I'm like, you are, there's nothing good that can happen. Central Avenue oh, I'm going to take that stop, though. No, 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 no. Oh, I, can you imagine being this? Oh, my gosh. Being in this traffic. Oh, what is going on? The drive through you talked about. I, maybe they heard. Maybe they are looking for McDonald's. Wait a minute. So we're in a parking lot of a strip mall. Nope. Is he going to get like back on the freeway? I think so. I'm gonna almost. Yeah. I think so. Back on the freeway we go. Ooh, that's I um, I need a puke bag after that little spin we just did. Let's go ahead and listen to the chopper. See if he, whoa, there's another hey. officer ready to waiting pull over this guy. Let's oh, let's listen in on uh, our chopper really quickly. See if he has any details as far as location is concerned. All right, he's not saying anything, so let's go ahead and continue giving you guys the play-by-play -play from us. CHP officers saying, oh. our officers tried to conclude the pursuit in a safe manner. The pursuit started in Monrovia. They tried to stop it for a suspicious vehicle call. The CHP took over the chase when it went onto the freeways. Officer Kevin Tao is the spokesperson. Spikes were not deployed in time. I see. Look how fast he's going. He hasn't gone this fast in quite a while. It's very... And they say he's reached 102. I even think maybe faster. It's Let's see. He's approaching. It's hard to see from this angle, but it is on one of the wider freeways. So I'm assuming he is on the 10 freeway because the 10 is a very wide freeway, many, many lanes. Um, it's either the 10 or the 210. We know that factually. Again, guys, our Twitter handles are written below. So if you want to tweet us your comments, thoughts, questions, concerns about this chase, we will get to those 
on air. Brian saying that he's still on the 10 eastbound. So now he's back on the 10, heading east once again. So it looks like he's just trying to lose the cops at this point. He's not really going anywhere. Not, and, and keep in mind, not only does this individual have multiple police officers following from behind, but you've got multiple helicopters Multiple in the helicopters. Sky. You have the Monrovia PD helicopter. You have the CHP helicopter. You have multiple news stations following you everywhere. I want to give a shout out to viewer Troy asking, why do these always seem to happen around 5 p.m. Eastern time? I need to leave, but I can't tear myself away. <laughs> Guess it's going to be late night at the office, Troy. Troy? But that's always a good time to raid the kitchen. What's that? Oh. What do oh, you the kitchen at work? You? Yeah. Five when everybody goes? Yeah, no. If you have that kind of kitchen. All right, guys, I'm looking for the next street sign so I can give you guys a more specific idea of where exactly this chase is. The pursuit is on the 10 East. Past the 57 freeway. Or we need to drop us. Move us again. And you can see um, the lower third is hiding the officer. The, the officer is at a, a dramatic different. Like, I just moved the lower third so that they could see the officer. Oh, yeah. The me. officer has backed up a dramatic amount now. Again, guys, it is now 2.13 p.m. We know this chase started at 1.12 p.m. It has officially gone on for over an hour now. It doesn't look like he wants to stop at all. It really no. seems like he is just taking any freeway he can possibly take to lose the cops. And again, I, th I had this conversation last week with Carrie. I don't, I under, I, I can, I can justify in my own mind. I thought there was something red in the truck. Is there no longer something red in the truck? We got rid of it. I can justify in my own mind somebody that makes a mistake and is so stressed and this is the way that they react. Mm -hmm. But to have two people that make this decision and go, yep, we're going to, we're going to, you know, Thelma and Louise it. I cannot justify to save my life. Right, right. It's very peculiar. You kind of wonder what's going on in the mind of, these people who are trying to escape, you know? Right. I'm just wondering, do you decide then in that moment, you know what, today's the day I'm gonna start a police chase? Yeah. Or is it something that you've thought about for a while? Like if you're like an ongoing criminal, you probably think, you know, when the moment occurs, am I gonna flee? I or mean, am I gonna just accept fate? Because yeah, eventually, fate will kick in and you'll still get arrested. Exit, I think. Yep, he has exited. I can't see because we keep blocking. Nope, there's nothing on the screen. Where is he Where now? Is he? It looks like it is. This it looks like the worst place to exit. And look, you can see the shadows of the other helicopters. I mean, you have nowhere to go. What is this? Oh, is he just pulling over? Oh, is he just God. surrendering? Oh, I can't end God. like that. Oh, dear God. Bye, Liz. Is it really ending like this? Is he just pulling over to surrender? Did Multiple. that really just happen? Multiple. That's Multiple it. Multiple vehicles. That's it. It's ending like this. I mean, you sound at least like it's my ending... ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at like least this? it's peaceful. He pulls over. We're hoping that it's peaceful, guys. Again, yeah, your again, discretion, discretion is, is advised. Because this is live. Okay, so that looks like the, that one suspect has their arms out. Like the I have passenger yeah. suspect. Sarah's asking, has a suspect ever ran out of gas during a live police chase? Oh, yeah. I'm sure that's happened. Uh, I've seen it multiple times with motorcycle chases. R-I-B-N-S saying, clearly he's not worried about fuel costs, looks like a V8. <laughs> Why are all these Prius. people only tweeting you? Do they like you more, or is it because you keep asking for tweets? It might be my desperation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move the lower third so that you guys can get a full look, look, view look. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of that and us and everything. So you guys get a full shot of the scene as it's unfolding. Yeah, they're done, though. It looks like two males. Are they on the ground? They are. One aren't. is. One is. The, the one, passenger the, is on the, the ground. The driver's not on the ground. And the, pa the driver is uh, standing with the hands behind looks his like head. Looks like two Caucasian suspects. It's hard to tell race from up here, though. It could be Hispanic. Listen. I'm trying to sound like I know what's going on right now. Samia. Oh, yeah. Troy suggests that maybe the suspects ran out of gas. 
They could have. That could have just been like, well, our time is done. And I'm wondering, I mean, everyone has an iPhone now. Were they tuning in to live police coverage? We always ask that. We were always wondering. Especially with the passenger, though. You know, with the passenger, the passenger could easily be tuning in, watching a live stream, and letting the driver know what's going on. Just a thought. Why does, why does he have a crop top on? Is he coming from Coachella? You know what? Coachella is actually from that direction. Coachella. You do pass Rancho Cucamonga when you're driving back to L.A. from Coachella. I'm not feeling the crop top, though. Is it a crop top? No, he just has it up. I'll come his <laughs> I guess he just wants to show that he's not armed. Yeah. That must be it. It probably isn't a fashion Unless thing. Unless he is leaving from Coachella. He stayed an extra day <laughs> or two. Maybe he just woke up. Maybe it was that good. Maybe. All right, let's go back to this, sus this uh, passenger suspect. He was on the ground. I think you're correct, Kinsey. I'm going with Caucasian suspect based on the boxers of choice. <laughs> All right, he's removed to remove his cat yeah. to prove that he is not armed, not dangerous. Again, I'm just wondering what is going through your head. And you're right, he kind of does look like a guy that may have gone to Coachella. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> uh, why, t why do you have your sunglasses on when you're surrendering? Get your life together. I'd like to acknowledge all the people who have now tweeted Kinsey. Thank you. My feelings were hurt. You guys can tweet both of us. Our Twitter names were on the screen. We moved them so that you could see the full chase because we're considerate like that. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look, keep there it on go. the guy because he's. These are wedding style dance moves that he's rocking right now on his. <laughs> you mean like he's drank too much and he's still trying to dance and he can't really. He's doing the tootsie roll. Hands in the pants. How much? I mean, as an officer. You know what? They've got to be so frustrated, and I imagine that this is like this. Just this has got to be it's such an adrenaline rush, right? When you're chasing after these guys, and you just want it to be over with, and then you finally catch them, I'm sure that they have to remind themselves not to be, a, you know, not to get caught up in the adrenaline of something like that. So it looks like now they're approaching the vehicle to make sure there are no other suspects inside the vehicle. They're armed, just in case. I hope the puppy is okay. A possible suspect pops out. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, more than a thousand people tuning into News Now right now to watch our chase coverage. Stay with us, and if you are just joining us for the chase, as soon as the chase wraps up, we encourage you to stay with us. Looks like we have some more breaking news. Right here in Arizona, a stabbing scene with two victims. Also, Looks subscribe like to our channel because we are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m., 9 p.m., Box 10 News Now, and we stream live breaking news, not just locally, but nationally, five days a week, Plus, 12 hours a day. Not only should you subscribe, but you should follow Samia Fox 10, Kinsey Fox 10, because that's where you'll hear first. But Samia won't link about you. Samia's not going to link you to the actual chase. She's just going to give you, she's going to hint at it. She's a tease. Let me make you guys work for it. <laughs> Car chase. I don't know where. <laughs> Do you think if there are two people involved that they both have to agree that um, they're going to pull over. Do you think if the passenger is like, I don't want to? Oh yeah, like they both have to be in, in for it? Yeah. I think so, it's kind of like us. Like we both have to agree on the story we're gonna do that day, otherwise we're not gonna do it. No, we did that one about Nancy Reagan's funeral that I didn't want to do. I did that I've for done, you. I've done some for you too. Which one did you not want to do? It was probably something about entertainment. <laughs> was it the Selena Gomez one? Because I didn't really feel it with you. Yeah, it might have been Selena Gomez. The point is, sometimes you have to just take one for the team. 
but did did one of these guys do that? I don't know. Did one of these guys sacrifice and go, all right, I'll be arrested sooner rather than later? These are all good questions, Kinsey. I want to let the viewers know more details on this chase. Uh, Brian letting us know that this ended near Archibald and G Streets, just north of the Ontario airport. So mm. for those of you who are here locally and travel southwest a lot, you may be familiar with the area. You I may have gotten I like a good Ontario flight to Ontario. Airport. Yeah, I like the Ontario airport. I've never been. I, good airport? I, it's a very nice airport, very easy to navigate. Interesting. Let's continue to watch the scene unfold. <laughs> Looks like some of our comments on air have ignited the cell phone debate. We have Open Freedom saying, most people don't have iPhones anymore. Most people have Android phones now, 80% to 14% iPhone. So the question is then, what are the criminals using? Android phones using or iPhone burn phones? burn phones. Haven't you seen Sons of Anarchy? I have not. They use burners. So you don't think they have a smartphone with Wi-Fi capabilities to tune into a live stream on their phone? Samia, I'm not, I don't have time for this. They have burners. We feel the burn. <laughs> We're voting for Bernie. What? Oh, no. What are you? By the way, this is not the car chase. We're going to transition to Houston flooding. We're just going to give you a heads up. We lost on our strong feed the chase and the aftermath of the chase. They replaced that with some of those vis some visuals out of Houston flooding. Um, so, you tell us. Do you want to see the chase scene or the flooding scene? I think you guys want to see the chase, even but, if it cuts in and out. Yeah, but we also have the Phoenix story we can go to pretty soon. Soon. I know that the chopper is headed that way. A stabbing, Look, see, that looks like a young guy. That really does. Stabbing near a high school. Not confirmed whether the stabbing happened on the high school grounds. Two people being taken to the hospital. We're waiting for Chopper to get to that scene. Stay with us, guys. Don't go anywhere. Find us on Twitter. Tweet us. Follow us. Do all that good stuff. We appreciate you guys. And we appreciate you guys tuning in for this live police chase as it unfolded here on News Now.